Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I would like to talk about blue hives. Blue hives with Popstar, right? Not without Popstar. Now, if you don't know what Popstar is, it's the passive ability from the Supreme Star Amulet. And essentially what it is, is every 30th blue bomb token, it will summon a little star, a little blue star that floats around you and it will get bigger every bubble you get, giving you more bubble bloat, which will give you more blue field capacity and convert rate at hives. So it's very useful. Popstar lasts about 40 five seconds and it will double your capacity and multiply your blue pollen or no sorry not double your capacity will times it by 1.5 now i want to go over what bees you need and what bees you don't need for a blue hive now going through the list here let's start with the basic bee you will need a basic bee every good hive needs a basic bee because it's that extra times 1.2 pollen which will be really useful in the long run you will need bomber bee you will need a gifted bomber bee sorry you need all these bees must be gift not not all of them but yeah you get the point you'll see you'll see just keep watching why you need bomber bee is because it will give you an extra 15 percent bomb pollen which i will explain why this is useful in, in a bit here after i finish talking about the other bees but keep a gifted bomber bee you do not need gifted brave bee as gifted brave bee just adds extra bee attack which you will not need because with a blue hive you're not going to be fighting anything now bumblebee get a gifted bumblebee because it will give you 25 percent blue bomb pollen so it's very useful because you're in a blue field so of course you're going to need a lot of blue bomb tokens to get extra pollen and honey cool bee quite obvious 10% extra blue pollen will be very useful. Hasty bee, you do not need gifted hasty bee. Most people think you do, but you really don't. It's only a 20% player move speed buff, which with a lot of ninja bees, which most uh, blue hives have, and I'll explain why, is because you're gonna have a constant 10 stack of haste. So why would you need a hasty bee anyways? And it just, it really slows down your honey making speed. You will need a gifted looker bee for that extra 50% critical power because that plus blue bomb tokens, when the blue bomb token hits a crit, it will get 50 percent more honey and pollen which is really good you do not need rad bee you do not need rascal bee as these are just you know red bees you don't need those stubborn bee you eh, it depends if you can get to the tokens quick enough then you don't need it but if it's kind of difficult for you to get all the tokens i'd recommend keeping a stubborn bee because it has 20 percent ability token lifespan you will need absolutely need at least one bubble bee because bubble bee multiplies your pollen from bubbles by 1.5 another bee you're gonna need another gifted blue bee you're gonna need is is actually the buckle bee because that extra 10% blue pollen commander bee you're going to need that too because the extra critical chance so you will be hitting 5% more critical hits with those bomb tokens which is really nice you are going to need 10 uh, uh temo temo bee i was about to say temo bee but you're going to need demo bee because it gives you 15% extra bomb pollen bomb pollen i can't speak i'm sorry guys 15% bomb pollen which will be very useful for buffing those blue bomb tokens from your ninja bees you do not need exhausted bee it's extra buzz bomb pollen which does does not affect blue bomb tokens because buzz bomb and blue bomb tokens are very different it's not bomb pollen buzz bomb pollen which is like the the colorless bee colorless bee pollen like white pollen collecting that's what a, bum, a, a, a buzz bomb pollen does fire bee you do not need that because that is for a red hive is completely useless it's only 1.5 pollen from flames you do not need that it is very useless don't have it in your hive for a blue hive frosty bee you will need as it will give you 25 percent more blue bomb pollen kind of like the uh the what is that the bumblebee i believe bumblebee yeah you you do not need your honeybee because honeybee is just times 1.5 honey from tokens which is practically useless in most hives. you do not need rage bee as it just gives you extra bee attack and you will not be fighting with the blue hive because blue hives are really bad but you can still kill the stump snail guys it just takes a bit longer and also coconut crab so yeah those are only two downsides shocked bee you will need kind of I, I just recommend having a shocked bee because there is a bit of white pollen still in the field because as you can see there's a bit of white pollen in the field and it gives you 25 percent more white pollen so it's quite useful keep keep your shock gift and shock. Keep your baby bee because it gives you 25% extra loot luck and who doesn't want that? So it's extra, it's extra stuff, right? Extra rewards from defeating bosses like the king beetle and coconut crab and, uh, you know, tunnel bear, all that stuff. Very cool. Keep your baby bee. Also, baby love token gives you two times pollen and 50% loot luck, so definitely keep baby bee. Just do it. Keep it. Carpenter bee, you will need this because it will give you 25% extra pollen from tools, which is actually quite useful. So be sure to keep your carpenter bee. Demon bee, you do not need that because there's a gifted red bee it is 25% red bomb pollen, which is useless because you will not be getting any bomb pollen tokens that are red. Diamond bees. Now, you only need one of these in a proper blue hive. But if you do not have Popstar, which I made a video on that, you will want 
watch a lot of these and in that video I explained why so in the top right hand corner I will have like a little card that pops up go ahead click that if you don't have the pop star passive ability and you can go ahead watch that video and figure out how to get a blue hive without the pop star passive but anyways back to what I was saying you do not need many diamond bees you only need one at maximum and minimum in this hive in a proper blue hive because it gives you 100% convert rate which will be very useful because as you can see it takes a while to empty out my bag lion bee I don't know if you need a lion bee or not I don't think you do because it's just two colorless bee attack which is completely useless because you're not going to be fighting much but I just have one anyways because why not I will obviously replace it with a tadpole bee at some you will need three music bees at minimum and maximum because of that extra 25% pollen from bees which is a gifted bonus from it you can't like stack it though unfortunately but still very useful just keep it and you need three because it drops melody focus and token link which are three essential items in every hive three items sorry tokens not items they're very useful tokens just keep three music bees at maximum and minimum nothing above nothing below now ninja bees this is an interesting one you need a lot of these so i'd recommend nine nine ninja bees because with those nine ninja bees you're gonna be getting a lot of haste because you won't need that gifted hasty bee see i have a 10 stack of haste already it just it just stays there practically forever it's just an infinite stack of haste because i've got so many haste tokens so yeah that's something good about it also 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 it drops blue bomb plus tokens blue bomb plus tokens give you so much more pollen than just a regular blue bomb so don't worry all those other blue bomb buffs from those bees will also those other gifted bees will also buff blue bomb plus don't worry and with this blue bomb plus ability, it will actually count towards your passive ability to activate pop star, right? It will it will help proc it, I guess. Do people what do people call it? They say it proc or something like that. I don't know what proc even means, but they, they just say that. But it will definitely add to the counter because you need 30 bomb tokens, like blue bomb tokens. And with a lot of ninja bees, you're gonna be able to get that pop star a lot. So it's very useful. Keep nine ninja bees at maximum and six at minimum. Six to five, five to six, doesn't really matter. Just in that range is what you need. Shy bees, you don't need those. Fuzzy bees, I'd recommend keeping two to three at maximum and minimum. Spicy bee, you do not need that. Now, tadpole bee is an essential bee to a blue hive. Why exactly? Because with tadpole bees, you're getting those frog tokens. See all these frogs here? All these little frogs that are bouncing around here, they're giving me bubbles. So with those bubbles, I can build up my bubble bloat, as you can see here. It builds up every time I get a bubble. And bubble bloat is overpowered because it can give you more capacity and it will give you much more convert rate at high. So it's very useful. Be sure to get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tadpole bee. Max? Maximum, like maximum of 17 tadpole bees, a minimum of nine. I currently have five, so I need to keep working on that. So yeah, average blue hive will have nine tadpole bees and nine ninja bees. So be sure to get exactly those if you want just an average blue hive. Now, why is the summon frog token, which I explained why. They also drop blue boost tokens, which are very useful. They have a passive ability of gathering bubbles. So when they're collecting a flower, they have a chance of spawning a bubble, 55% chance actually, and a 75% chance if they they are gifted. Vector B, I'd say keep one. I, I have a Vector B. Just keep a gifted Vector B. Why not? The triangulate ability is quite useful because I'm pretty sure it pops bubbles. I might be wrong on that, but I do know it collects tokens, so be sure to keep a Vector B. You don't entirely need it, but like, I'd say just keep one. Just keep one anyways. Bear B, you're gonna need that. Cobalt B, definitely gift this because it gives you 10% instant blue conversion. Also, by the way, I didn't mention this, but gift Tadpole B 10% blue pollen and 25% instant bubble conversion. Very useful. Be sure to get that. Prim Crimson B, be sure to keep this too, because with Crimson B, you're getting, like, if you have Crimson and the Cobalt B, the Crimson Red Pulse token will actually summon a Blue Pulse token as well. Like, not token, but, like, it will summon a Blue Pulse anyways, without even having to spawn in another token. So, it's two times blue, 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 blue I can't speak English, guys. <laughs> it will summon two, two times the amount of Blue Pulses, so... Be sure to keep both of those, Crimson and Cobalt. Very cool. You will want a Festive Bee, obviously, for those Festive Gifts, which are actually quite useful when boosting. Gummy Bee, keep that. Yes, 100%. Keep a Gifted Gummy Bee, or even just a regular Gummy Bee. Every hive needs a Gummy Bee. They are so good. Photon Bee, most certainly keep a Gifted Photon Bee. They have 5% instant conversion, which is absolutely overpowered, but be sure to get that. Gifted Puppy Bee, you don't entirely need it, but it gives you 20% bond from treats, so that's 20% less honey on treats, so be sure to get one of those if you want to save a lot of honey. Also, on it actually added a reindeer guiding thing. So, reindeer guidance buff is very useful if you have the reindeer antlers. So, I'd recommend keeping your puppy bee, even if it's not gifted. As long as you either have it gifted or reindeer uh, antlers on that puppy bee, keep. If you don't, then you can go ahead and get rid of it. Tabby bee, be sure to keep a gifted tabby bee, because tabby bee, I believe, is actually the best bee in the game because of his tabby love that stacks up. Look, 
1000% tabby gather amount, 1000% tabby bee conversion amount, 1000% pollen from scratch. It is so useful. And also 50% more critical power. So 54, or no, not 54, sorry, 50% more pollen from your little criticals from those, uh, you know, bomb tokens. So quite useful. Bombs, I believe, have a higher chance of getting criticals. I'm not sure. They seem to. They really seem to. So be sure to keep your tabby bee gifted. Gifted or not, just still keep it. It's really good. Kind of like the gummy bee. Gifted or not, keep it. Vicious bee, you don't entirely need a gifted vicious bee. I'd say keep the vicious bee. Just keep it. Keep the vicious bee. You gotta have at least some attack. Also, that monster respawn time is kind of a bad thing because in stump field, stump snail can spawn much quicker and you'll have less time in the stump field. But I'm pretty sure like a day and a half is good good enough. I have a day and a half respawn time, I believe. I believe my snail is back, actually. My stump snail. Good old stump snail here. Look, yeah, my stump snail is still here. Anyways, yeah, keep your vicious bee for that impale, and it also drops extra blue bomb plus tokens, so be sure to keep those. Windy bee, you will need a windy bee. You don't need, but you do need. Nah, yeah, never mind. You do need one. I don't have one, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, I'm working towards it, so that's good. So that's all the bees you need for a blue hive, everyone. That's, uh, very useful, very useful, very useful information, so be sure to use all that information. Very helpful. And, uh, yeah, be sure to get the diamond mask, by the way. Diamond mask, useful, essential. Without the diamond mask, a blue hive is terrible. Now, another thing I'd like to mention is actually get the bubble mask. Even if you already have the diamond mask, get the bubble mask as well, because if you look here, it also gives you a passive ability called bubble bombs but you need the bubble mask for this to work now bubble bombs every i believe seventh blue bomb token or is it bomb token? let's see here i think it's blue bomb token. yeah it's every seventh bomb token it will spawn three bubbles on the field it has no cooldown so it's very useful so every seven bomb tokens it will drop an extra three bubbles which is very good so be sure to keep yourself that uh bubble mask be sure to buy that too and the diamond mask don't forget that. Never forget the diamond mask. Very useful. Anyways, with all that information out the way, I hope you all did enjoy. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe, please. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. You do not know how much this means to me. Thank you. Bye, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. See ya. This was actually really fun. I did actually stream earlier, but anyways, yeah. Bye.